Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the components of a case study, guys. Okay, so just to give me a second, I'll be opening the PPT. Okay, so these are all the components of a case study. So basically, sorry, with with the case tools. Okay, so basically, what are all the operations which you can do with the help of this case? Okay, so. these are all the operations guys like analyze analysis tools code generation database generation prototype tools screen and report generation security and version control error checking documentation generation drawing tools and design generator right most of them are word explanatory right from the names only you can say what are they exactly doing so basically for few they gave the exact meanings so we'll be going through them and rest all i'll be giving you some introduction guys because I just want to give you some introduction. So I think almost everything is covered, but I am not sure about it, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start. So the first is a diagram diagram tool. Okay, I think it's not in it, right? Okay, drawing tool. It might be the explanation about drawing tool. So diagramming tool is nothing but where you can draw some diagrams, right? So it allows to represent a system and it and its components visually. So allows a high level processes. to be easily decomposed so can examine the processes or models at higher level or lower level so basically for a software application or any kind of application if you recall we call some diagrams called as uml diagrams right yes so these kind of diagrams represent this guys so basically you will be drawing the diagrams in such a way that they are clearly understood by anyone right so if i draw a uml diagram clearly you can understand it right just without any explanation you can understand it if you have some idea about the uml diagrams in that way the diagrammatic tools will help guys so to draw the low level diagram so basically from the bottom neck you can say right yes okay similarly scene and reporting report generators okay so use it to create modify and test prototypes of computer displays and report, displays and reports so, okay so basically whenever you create something it might be application it might be anything so you will be testing it right yes so based on your test you will generate some reports right hence these things can also be automated guys okay so that comes under there similarly analysis tool okay so whatever generated reports are there so what are the things which you need to be changed for this also you can create some analysis tools okay similarly case documentation generation tool okay so basically case based on your documentation okay so based on your particular a software you can create your documentation right yes so if you recall there will be some websites guys where you can just give your company name and your website name or something some requirements and it will create your privacy policy for you you it will ask just some questions like 5 to 10 questions in that way in the same way you can create your documentation also right so it will be asking for some inputs and based on your inputs it will create a documentation it will be having a predefined template guys so it will substitute just to substitute your values there and it will give you okay yes so it will reduce your work and if this case tool is designed by your company means your company your it if it follows all your company requirements at that time this documentation will have some high value right it will be done easily and it's a, it's a good one right yes so these are some types of tools guys you can just to go through them like the names only will say editing and diagram so it is used for editing text and diagrams and to generate some diagrams and all those things you can just to go through those names guys guys i'll be adding this ppts so don't worry about them guys okay similarly we are having code edits and code generators and co code modifications okay yes similarly reverse engineering and project management okay so this is the same diagram how we seen for maintenance right in maintenance for three columns we have seen right for three different types so in the same way here we are having for two tool generators right so two tool generators based on some inputs okay yes you can just go through it once it's really easy guys okay okay so now let us continue with the contribution of a case tools for software product quality so basically how does this case tool help so basically case tool is useful in multiple ways right so it is used for design design errors coding errors testing and documentation so it is helpful in all the aspects you can say similarly for maintenance also in maintenance also it is helpful for three different modules so basically there are three right corrective and adaptive and functional improvement so inside functional improvement we are having again two right yes okay similarly it okay so that's the exact definitions which they are which they have written it again okay so now let us go through some advantages so basically helps the standardization of normalized diagram so it will help in diagrammatic drawing it helps in communication okay it automatic it is an automated process guys it is not a user process so there is no need of a user to be present it will be it is an automated process okay yes enhancement of reused model so basically it will reuse the previous model so it's not going to draw them from scratch or anything okay but the only few drawbacks are nothing but it's not flexible for documentation because uh, having a template for documentation isn't a good idea guys if you ask me right yes so may lead to 
restriction on the tool compatibility yes there could be some restrictions similarly major damage for syntactically correctness so whenever you are cre generating codes so the coding will not be in an efficient way right so it will not be an optimized code so again a user should optimize it okay similarly it is a bit costly if you are purchasing the software or the tool okay so in that situation it will be costly and if you are training it manually even training cost will also be there okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the producer and work instructions okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching